So the story of uh, uh, the, the Emil Griffith was first introduced to me by uh, Terence Blanchard, uh, who's a wonderful composer and, and jazz uh, trumpet player. Um, and Terence and I had worked on, uh, Terence and I worked on two, two of the pictures that I directed. He wrote the music uh, for, for two of them. And um, he was commissioned by Opera Theatre St. Louis to, to write an opera. And he chose the subject of Emil Griffith. Uh, and then he came to me and asked me to write the libretto for it. Uh, and I had, at that time, I didn't know anything about Emil. And uh, so I did some of the research and I realized what an extraordinary story his life is. And, um, and so I agreed to do the libretto. But having never written a libretto before, um, uh, when I sat down to work on it, I basically wrote a play. Uh, and then I adapted the play into what was needed for the libretto. So we did the opera it, uh, two years ago. It was done in St. Louis. It's been pretty successful. It was done in San Francisco, and next year it'll be done in Washington, D.C. Um, and um, what happened was that there was uh, so much material that I had sort of written in this play form um, that we hadn't been able to get into the uh, opera because in opera a libretto is much shorter than a play and um, and the music is sort of the center. So when the court theater uh, contacted me uh, and asked if I were interested in doing a play about Emil based on the libretto, it was really the reverse of that. <laughs> I already had most of the play um, and I had so much material that I wanted to use the uh, parts of his life and aspects of his life and aspects of the story that I just couldn't get into the opera. So this has been a really great opportunity to finish, uh, for me, to finish telling the story of uh, Emil's life.